Hello, this is also from HJ Sensei Equipment Manufacturer. We produce all kinds of sensing equipments, such as a CO2 laser engraving and cutting machine, sensory rotor, 4 axis 3D sensory rotor, and uh, some other sensory equipments. Okay. Uh, in the next few days, I'd like to share my knowledge of how to create the, three, the 3D 4 axis tool passed by power mail. Okay, uh, this is the, uh, the file, the screenshot of the file. Actually, there are more, but today we uh, only choose some pattern for our example. Okay, let's choose this one. It uh, looks it looks good. Now let's see the original file. Here is the original file. Uh, we can see the size. It's a 280 MB. So it's a uh, it's very big. Mean means that it will be very difficult for us to process to make the 3D tour pass it needs a good computer programming so first of all we need to reduce the size of this original file uh, what software will be used by us okay uh, just we use we use the brush. Here is how to reduce it. The plugin and uh, here is the 3D printer exporter through STL imports. Now we can find out our original files here. Open it because it's a little big, so we need some time for the. Imports, importing. When it's done, there will there will be a notice on screen that read successfully. You know, something like that. Okay, I still file reading successfully. Remember to press your enter button on the keyboard and uh, edit. You need to press T or click here. Edit, not edit, edit. Okay. Uh, here is uh, the work table of the brush. We need to know some function of how to check it. Only your right click of the mouse is rotating it. With out. It's moving. With control together, zoom in or zoom out. And with shift, it will be in a right position. You can see, this is the function of shift. Okay. Before, the here is the main function. Decimation master. Before really decimate the current, we need to pre process current. Click it and waiting for the processing. Computing place wait. Here is a note so we can know if it's ready or not. The ST file is 280 MB. It's pretty, pretty big. So the processing needs some time. That's just a bit. And when it's done, we can move to the next step. Okay, 
Now the pre-processing is done. We can uh, move to the real decimation here. That's a decimate current, and there are number percented here of the decimation. Uh, you can uh, choose a uh, suitable size, suitable percentage. For example, we select 30 percentage of decimation. After selecting, after writing, click here. Okay, now when you can see the numbers, it means that the processing is already done. But it's not uh, it's not over here. We need we need another step to fulfill here. Metric the dynamics, yes. The resolution you can choose a suitable size here. Yuri, it's uh, from uh, six hundred to one thousand and uh, two hundred. We can uh, write it eight, eight hundred and uh, select the polish group. It means if there are more than two parts, we can select this group. And the dynamics processing mass phases. Okay, this step is already is also done. Uh, the last step is to export. Export to the export to the desktop. You can name a suitable name. Uh, enemy default is OK. Press uh, save. Yes. OK, now the OBG file has been successfully exported. Here you can see there are only 50 MB. It's much, uh, it's much later than the it's much it's smaller, it's m much smaller than the earlier one. So it means our this step is successful. Okay, let's uh, continue this this processing of the file. Uh, we already got this default point obg file. Uh, this is this has been decimated. Next, we need to transfer it to a standard specification which is supported by PowerMail. Let's open this GDSoft SurfMail Pro. And uh, here, file, import all files. And then we find out the default.obg on the desktop here choose obz here open it confirm and put to original position is uh, shady and press F6 type on the keyboard on the transform mode to VCS region middle 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 or three direction okay F6 
after the processing and the decimation, the surface is still very fine and very good. So let's uh, transfer, let's export it. There are three options, export, export or visible or selected, because there is only one option, only one object, so all the three options are OK. Any, any option is OK. You can uh, make a name, choose a type, file type here. For example, we can make it decimation. Confirm. <coughs> Confirm. Okay, now we got this decimation.stl file. So close it. No need to save it. But because this STL file is not in a standard specification, so we need to transfer it again using the rhinoceros. File import choose it and open. Yes, and waiting for the importing. F6 Here is your color green. I can make it shape. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this this one shading. You can see the effect, the details. It's uh, promising. We use only the simplest function. It's uh, on the file exporting and still STL. Here, you can name it black. For yes. We got this leg.stl file. It's only 60 MB with a standard specification which is supported by Power Mail and with a very, very small size, which is easy for the computer to process. So, uh, this step is, uh, is done. We just finished here. Uh, in the next lesson, we will share about the, no the the V of how to create a four axis tool pass by P PM by, by Power Mail. Um, or this step are uh, really not necessary only if your computer is, is is good enough to process big size file. If not, you maybe need to process this file. 
to decrease the size, and then it's it will much more much easier for you to process. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Let's end here.